Hi everyone there is a good news for designers and people who are just starting out Google just launched something called Stitch which is really great in creating designs so we used to create designs with Figma now with just few prompts you get a whole bunch of screens in Stitch so in this video we're just going to try out what Stitch is and we'll also see if it is as good as Figma so without wasting any further time let's dive in and let's see what actually stitch is all right so this is the home page of stitch or uh, you just have to sign in to this page stitch.withgoogle.com and you will be in the home page and all you have to do is describe your prompt right here so you have two choices you can make a mobile design or a web design if you want you can also upload image but image is only supported in experimental mode so you can see right here you have two option one is standard mode which uses gemini 2.5 flash then the second one is experimental mode it uses 2.5 pro so you can use image for inspirations now let's start by creating some mobile design i'll try to create a food delivery app that is customized for students in colleges so here is my prompt design a food delivery app for students teachers in school we'll add other screens after this is generated now let me use standard mode then for some other designs we'll use experimental mode as well so click on create design so stitch has some recommendations so we'll go with make them all all right so we have the cafeteria menu here and you have a build your own choose your bread all right a custom food builder you can add your bread protein source and whatever then you have the checkout page all right and the tracking and here you have your profile cool so we can also add login page after creating this so we have an option right here add a login registration screen to the app cool let's add that all right so we have the user registration right here now it is also suggesting a new suggestion integrate the new login screen into the app's flow okay click on that then we have added login screen to the app now generate a welcome message to introduce after successful login yes so stitch is giving us a lot of suggestions to make it better that's actually great all right so we have the welcome text right here so we can also add a search bar right here cool like so add a search bar to the cafeteria menu all right now we have the cafeteria menu with search bar right here then we have the previous one right here okay so we have to the new one as well the one without the search bar all right so it keeps on giving us a lot of suggestions well now now we can also edit the design if you want uh, by giving the prompt right here so we have it right here so let's say that change so i just wanted to change the price bots that this box right here to yellow so click on design so these colors are common for all these things so we just changed all the color okay what is it okay that didn't work all right so that's how you edit things but the way that i want i just wanted to change this particular thing into yellow color didn't work so here we have few color options let me apply this thing now i just choose blue let's see how it is going to come all right so the accent just got changed to blue good so you can choose your fonts right here then if you want you can use 
your custom colors okay we also have an option for making it dark okay let's create oh let's change this to the dark one cool now we have the same screen with dark that's great cool cool we have arranged it right here then so here we have the code the html code you can copy this code right here so let's so you can also copy this to figma so the best thing you can also share okay this is the screen now let me add this code to an html file and let's open that in the browser and let's see if this is working fine so we have the code right here then copy the code all right so i have just pasted that html code right here now let me open this all right so we have it right here so let me all right yeah so that's working as expected all right so since this is a mobile app this is a responsive screen yeah so we just copied the code from right here and it is the same thing that it just designed and we have the html code and it is working cool now we can also add this to figma all you have to do is just click on this figma now it is copied to the clipboard all you have to do is go to your project and in the canvas just click on command v or control v and you have your screen right here now if you wanted to edit this one and just see you can see that right here. so this is the one so you can edit it from right here so the design that you've already created from stitch you can import that to figma and you can edit as well and you can do all the things that you used to do with figma with your designs now uh, we'll go back and we'll try the experiment mode and we'll also try to create a web design as well so that's it for this design now let me go back and instead of standard mode i'll use experimental mode so in this experimental mode i just added this image right here and we are trying to create something similar to that so the image is already uploaded So here is my prompt create a design similar to the image uploaded for a design agency landing page so instead of mobile we'll choose web and let's create this design so currently we are using this experimental mode and we have this logo right here so get high fidelity design with gemini 2.5 pro This was the image that we have uploaded and here we have the design and so it pretty much resembles the uploaded image and this is the web version of it cool so for in experimental mode what are the other things that's a download all right by clicking this we can create variants now it is creating variants so let's see what it is all right now we have a different variants all right here now let's so this is one design and we have our different design this looks good and we have a different one that's a data flow analytics which is again different so that's the use of variants you can right away just click on this create variants and it is going to create variants for you all right now let's get back and let's try to create a 
mobile UI with experimental mode. All right, now we'll create this mobile app with experimental mode. And here is my prompt: create a design for a podcast app that is like a Spotify for podcast with video and audio only modes. Now click on create designs. So we have the suggestions right here. If you play back, all right. So we have home screen, podcast detail screen, episode playback screen, search screen, library download screen. All right, let's see how what is going to be. All right, so these are the screens that was created. Now let me copy. So in experimental mode, we can't export this to Figma. Only in standard mode, you can export the designs to Figma. Okay. I hope in future this would change and we would also be able to export the experimental mode. But that's fine. All right. It looks great. But let me also create few variants for this one. All right, we have few variants. So this took just few minutes to create a whole bunch of design. If you're trying to do this in Figma, it would have taken a lot of time. And now you can also import these things into Figma and edit the way that you want. So that's really great. Well, that's it for this video. What do you think about Stitch and in the future upgrades, will this replace Figma? So let me know that in the comment section. Till then, this is Castigate Joseph signing off. Bye.